What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here today doing part three of this Minecraft intro tutorial series in Blender. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to the web page and download this. It has a, it has some rigs like zombies and stuff, but what we really want is the blocks, so let's just go find that. Um, click to download. Here we go. So it brings us to Mediafire. Here we go, MC Rigs. Looks like I've already downloaded it. Alright, MC Rigs. So, now you get this when you open it up, and you have a bunch of different kind of things. I don't like all of them, like a lot of them are bad, but some of them are good. I really don't like the Steve one, it's just terrible. But uh, here we go, we have blocks.blend, let's go ahead and drag this to our desktop. Uh, now we have two things, and let's go back to Blender, so I'm just going to escape. And now we want to go do the same thing, file, append, and our, on our desktop, blocks, and then object, and obviously we have a lot of objects. We really only want to choose one, so we can use a piston, we can use glass, uh, but I'm going to use what Minecraft is known best for is, it's grass, I guess, it's grass blocks, so let's just find that. This is going to be challenging, I'm not good at looking, at finding. It seems like it's organized by alphabetically, uh, greener leaves, greener grass, grass. All right, let's try grass. Here we go. Link append, and it is not here. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, so let's just grab this over and see if it already has its texture. F12. Yes, it does. Okay. So as you can see, it's way too big for what we want it to be. So let's press S and size it down, and right about there. So I'm gonna change the resolution to 50% of full HD, so it renders a bit faster. And as you can see, we've got our grass block now. It's slightly reflecting on the planes already. So what we want to do now is we want to want to right-click this, this here. Um, we've got it selected. Go into the Material tab. Um, here we go. It's updated. And we have a block material. What we want to do is we want to add a material again. So we got material uh, 004. Um, it is the next material up. So what we want to do is we want to change this into the diamond kind of thing. So let's make it bright blue. Um, what color is diamond? Like maybe like that. And then um, intensity. Let's change the t intensity to one. Mirror and transparency. Check those both. Change reflectivity to 0.6 and change Z transparency to ray trace and alpha to 0.8 um, if we render this it's still got the texture which is exactly what we want um, and yeah so that's that's it for the diamond material what we want to do now is we want to go into file user preferences um, and in add-ons we need to type in cell and it'll say object cell fracture uh, check that alright and now in the T menu when you press T whoops I actually pressed 6 right now which pretty much seems like it deleted everything but just press 1 to correct that um, now we can just press T and at the, near the bottom of the uh, menu we see cell fracture so select this object and then click cell fracture and then we have this thing here we want to change um, own particles to child verts, source limit 100, noise 1, and then reoccursion 1. Um, and now let's go material 1. So 0 is actually the, the 
Okay, this is just for the inside. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. And margin. So, depending on if you want the cracks to show when you render it or not, you can change the margin from 001 to 0 if you don't want the cracks to show. Or 001. I'm going to let the cracks to show to show you the example. Um, so, material. This uh, material one, since we created that other diamond material, this is what it is. It puts it on the inside, and when it fractures, you can see the inside, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to press, uh, instead of next layer, uncheck next layer, and then press OK, and then we should be good. So, as you can see, it's, it's pretty cracked. If we press F12, it's derping out because there's actually two materials, uh, two objects in there. So what we want to do is we want to press G, hold control. Whoops, G, hold control, bring it out like that, and then delete this former old one, and then you can press box select to select all, all that. Whoops, let's get this out of what the way. Box select. Whoops, not again. There we go. B. Oh gosh. Okay. There we go. And now we've got the cube. I'm going to center it right here. I'm going to bring it up this way so that we can have it fall down just like that. Um, and then we're just going to move the text back by holding control. So uh, let's just bring the camera up to that fractured object now. And if we press F12, it looks pretty cool. So as you can see, you've got your cracks here. That's what the margin does. If you got a brighter material, or if you change the margin just up a little bit more, you can easily see it uh, even better. But what we're going to do is we're going to drag this down here. And now we're going to enable physics for this thing. Uh, it's already enabled, uh, which is perfect. Um, so if we go change Blender Render to Blender Game and press P, that's what we get. Which is pretty cool when it looks solid colored. That looks pretty professional right there. And now what we want to do is we want to go into game, record animation, and let's start it at frame 0, obviously. So change it to frame 0 down here, and then press P. Then have it stop when you want it to, right there. All right, now click down in the timeline, and as, as you can see, we've got all the keyframes working together. Kapoo. And now, if we looked at, look at it when it's cracked, so let's render it at this frame we can see the diamond material is beautiful in Blender. I mean, just look at that. You can uh, adjust the ray trace alpha to be slightly more if you want as well. Um, and yeah, so um, what else? I think that's the end of this tutorial. Yes, it is. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, join me in part four to see what else we can do uh, with moving the text, um, and yeah, so see you guys later.